semi-supervised learning. Uh, it's something that is quite hybrid. It's, it falls between the supervised and the unsupervised, as you guys can uh, guess from just the name. So let's look at the scenario. So we have, uh, let's say, circles. Well, these are too big. Right. So these are data points. They represent group one. Okay. And I have other data points right here. So this is my second group. And maybe I just need to reduce the number. Okay. And then what I have, I have something else. These little guys. And believe me, there are plenty of them in our space. So these little squares are also data points, but they are not labeled. Okay, so what we have here, we have labeled samples. I know that this is a circle, so this is maybe a, uh, it has a label plus one. I know that this is a cross, so this is maybe a cat. Okay, but I also have many other samples that might be also cats and dogs. I'm just saying, okay, but they are not labeled. So during the training, I'm going to train my algorithm. Usually when I train my algorithm, if I use supervised learning, let's look at those guys. I'm just going to color them right here. So if I just use supervised learning, I will draw a line, something around, let's say, just to separate these two. So these are the closest ones, maybe somewhere around here. Okay, so that's, you know, using supervised learning, I just relied on the label data. But the idea of semi-supervised learning is I have loads of unlabeled samples and no one has time to label them for me, but still, I want to train my model using those unlabeled samples to increase its classification performance and generalizability to other unseen data sets with different variations. Okay, so what I want, what I'm, what we'll do right now, I'll just give you uh, one minute, and I want you to think about this problem. The problem is, how can we learn to label the unlabeled samples during training, so we improve the classification performance? So the idea is, I have these unlabeled data points, all of them, those guys, right? right here, all those guys are unlabeled. So during the training of my model, I want to learn how to progressively or jointly all together label them. So I will consider the predicted labels as trustful, like I can trust those labels and use train my model using now the fully nicely labeled data all together. So if I draw the line, remember, so if I use the labeled data, my line will be around like here, okay? So this is my classifier. But if I use only the, the green ones and the yellow ones, it might be somewhere right there, so, okay? So if you have more uh, unlabeled samples, so you can see it depends, you know, on their label, you might make a few mistakes. Okay, so I'll give you one minute and think about a simple strategy on how to integrate those unlabeled samples into uh, the semi-supervised training model. Not just write it down, okay? Think about it, write it down. And your take pen and paper, write, think about an idea, okay? And these are, like, this is a problem, believe me, I can give you an example. Okay, more complicated because you're going to learn many things during this um, this term, but there there's a whole lot that you don't know, and I can come up with different scenarios. 
Okay, so thinking is important. Make something logical. So supervised learning, I'm going to give you a few hints. Supervised learning use, uses just the green ones and the yellow ones. So it has the labels, it trains a model, and then once you train it, you can, of course, test it on something. Okay, but in this case, what you're having, you're having, you want to, tr to learn how to label the, the purple ones, the, the squares, progressively. So you're integrating them into your model to train with more data. Okay, this is just during training stuff. And of course, you're going to have testing, but testing is like that data, you'll never touch it. It's hidden. It's unseen. Okay. And those are unseen too, the, the squares. You don't know they are labels. They're not labeled. So this is the first question. There is another question I'm going to ask you after this. If you have one idea, you can write a second idea. There are many strategies to solve this problem. <laughs> 